Hi everyone, tutorial time and today I'm doing something different for you. I'm doing some rubber band magic. I'm only going to do some nice simple ones today to get you started but if you like them, I do loads of rubber band <laughs> magic as you can see and I wear them all the time and I can do all sorts of complex ones if you like in the future. So today I'm going to teach you four nice beginners tricks, some of which you might have seen before, <coughs> some you might not. So we go from the simple. more complex version. I'm going to teach you a nice fun silly little one where you go one, two, just comes right through the hand. Then I'm going to teach you the classic, the crazy man's handcuffs. I'm sure you've all seen it, some of you might know how it works. And then Another fun one where you just do it and they don't know you've only got one rubber band. And yet you make the second one disappear. So let's go over the shoulder and go through each of those. Mm -hmm. Go. Cool. Okay, so first off, what rubber bands should you use? I use magician's rubber bands. They're quite expensive though. What I would suggest is if you've got a family member or if you yourself work in an office, the ones that are this thickness, brown office ones, they're normally size 19, I believe, will work for all the tricks I'm going to show you today. If you get really into rubber band magic and start trying to get some of the more fancy techniques, then you'll need some of these. But just some size 19 ones will do. So the first trick, it's really easy. If you're using smaller rubber bands from a shop you have for your schoolwork or whatever, Put it on these two fingers. If it's a longer size like mine, double it over. And it's quite a cool effect. How does it work? So if I do it in this way because of the camera, I put it behind two. As I do this motion, I stretch, I put all my fingers through and I relax onto there. See that? Spectator can only see this. As I open my hand, it pivots round. It will literally do that. <clears throat> so you just go. If you're really quick, you can try and close back. Doesn't always work though. If you want it nice and simple, go look. So we just pull. The spectator can't see because they're in front of me. Yeah. Oh, sorry, all the way through. like so. Now sometimes they get suspicious and what's quite convincing is if you get another rubber band you just wrap your fingers around. You can even get them to test it because it's now in the light. But it doesn't actually affect the trick whatsoever. So that is how that trick's done. So the second trick I said I'd show you today it's a nice simple kind of a throwaway trick, but it's kind of fun. You put the rubber band on your middle finger and you pull. You rotate your hand, pull. Close your hand with the finger with the rubber band, so hopefully your middle finger going through. Now this one, you have to be a little bit careful. It is really this simple. You need to keep a little bit of pressure in your fingers so that they don't, if they're spread out, it just comes off. You go. See? So you have a little bit of a pinch. Now, when you're showing the spectator, you don't want them to see this bit. So you keep your hands at this kind of angle. Okay, so if I show them the other hand as well, I'd want them to see this, not this. And then as I release, it just comes unattached. It's not caught on anything because I've come back on myself. Simple as that. That one's really easy, isn't it? So just one, two, three. <clears throat> now a bit more complex then. The crazy man's handcuffs or the linking handcuffs made famous by David Copperfield. 
So you get a rubber band, finger and thumb. You get another rubber band, finger and thumb. Okay, from the other hand. So this matches, finger and thumb. Now at this point, I would pinch the middle finger on top of the index finger. Okay. And get used to just doing this without them all coming off. Get a feel for that. Okay, so we're back at the beginning. Pinch, pinch. Now the move you need to do is very slowly, as you come towards yourself, your middle finger and index finger trade places. Okay, nice and slow, one through to the other. This finger is now free, but you're doing it quite quickly so the audience can't see this. And then the index finger goes in with the thumb. And then as I stretch back out over the top, I just let my middle finger out. Okay. So you've gone away, towards, as you're coming towards, swap, and then go straight through, stretch, release. So one, two, three. I'm gonna do it a couple more times because I appreciate when you first learn this one. It's a bit confusing. Pinch, hold away. Pull towards, let your index finger come out, okay, through the hole, middle finger takes its place, and it goes through there, stretches over the top, and then normally I then go either a little blow, or I quite like to go once more and then flick as if I've pulled them apart. Now this trick is a bit of a classic. And it's really good if you get a spectator, you can put it on them. So you put one on them, and they're like this in front of you. And then you can go behind. And as long as your hand that's doing it's really used to the motion, you can actually do it with one rubber band on the other person. So it's worth practicing at different angles to get a feel for it. Okay, you just go one, two, Now, if you haven't done that one already, or if you've given a nice time lapse and you're talking to them, that's when you can go into the next one because you don't want them to know for the next one you've only got one rubber band, okay? So maybe you've got loads of one color, like brown ones sitting in front of you. And you're gonna do this trick. It's actually really, really straightforward. So you go one way, I go the other. So this is a separate trick, so don't confuse it with one before. But this time you've only got one rubber band. Finger and thumb, finger and thumb. Rotate, go through, so the inside. Rotate back, in, rotate. So I've got a little hourglass going on. Then I just turn a bit more bit more, bit more, bit more, and bring them together. And you should be able to make a cross with a box in the middle. Okay, I'll do that again. Turn your, your non-main hand up, go through, inside. Just turn it back. At speed, I would just literally go boom. I'm just doing that. Hourglass on top, I go, then to make it look like the other trick, I go away, I go this way. Oh yeah, yeah, two rubber bands, honest. I pull my fingers out and pinch, rub, and blow. Okay, let's see if that one rubber band's looking a bit frayed. I'll just see if I can do it on the other hand for it. One, two, ooh. one, two. Hourglass, keep turning. One, two, pinch. 
elements. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. A nice introduction to rubber band magic for you. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see some more complex tricks, let me know in the comments box. Thanks for watching. Bye.